Good morning, and welcome to the Way of the Cross. Because it was the time of the Passover feast, thousands of Jewish people from all the surrounding areas crowded into Jerusalem for the celebration. After all, this was the greatest Jewish celebration of the year. However, it was during this time that the enemies of Jesus decided to have him killed. As Jesus walked in the road carrying his cross, he saw hundreds of people lined up along the road watching him. A few of them were his friends. Many of them were his enemies who wanted him dead. But probably most of them were visitors who were in town for the Passover celebration. They heard the noise and commotion and walked over to see what it was all about. And what they saw they would never forget for as long as they lived. They saw the sad and horrible murdering of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, we remember that sad time as we walk with Jesus on his way to die. We call this walk the way of the cross. First station, Jesus is sentenced to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Having finished his last supper, Jesus went into the garden to pray. Judas took the soldiers there and handed Jesus over to them. They brought Jesus to the high priests, who were unable to give evidence against Jesus. They threw Jesus into a dungeon for the night, and in the morning, Jesus was taken to Pontius Pilate, so he would condemn Jesus. 
Knowing that Jesus was a good man who did no wrong, Pilate tried to release him, but the people demanded Jesus his life. Being a coward, Pilate did as the soldiers told him. Taking Jesus, they put a crown of thorns on his head and took turns hitting, mocking, and spitting on him before leading our Lord out to crucify him. Father in heaven, please give me the courage to always do what I know is right, even if people mistreat me and laugh at me for doing it. If I allowed others to convince me for doing wrong, I am a coward just like Pilate. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. After Pilate had given Jesus over to the soldiers, they got a huge, heavy wooden cross. The soldiers then put this cross on Jesus' shoulders for Jesus to carry on his way to die. Jesus says that if we are to come after him, we must carry, out, carry all our own crosses. Sometimes our cross may, that we, may be that we are sick, or we may have to do chores or homework. We may have to help people when we really don't want to. Whatever our crosses may be, we ask, Father God, please help me to accept and carry my cross just as willingly as Jesus did when he carries his cross because of my sins. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus was very tired and weak. He had been in that cold, musty dungeon all night, probably praying to his father to help him to get through what was coming. He had not had anything to eat or drink since the night before, so he tripped and fell down. Instead of helping him to get up, the soldiers kicked him and yelled at him until he got himself up from that hot, dusty road. Father in heaven, please help me never to be like those soldiers. Whenever I see someone who has fallen or who needs my help, please give me the kindness and compassion to help that person. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother, Mary. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. As Jesus carries his cross along the road, he suddenly came face to face with his mother. She was on the side of the road waiting to see him. Although he was glad to finally see someone who loved him, he could see in her face how much her heart was breaking for him. Like Mary, my parents loved me so much that when I hurt, they hurt too. Father God, please help me treat my parents with love, respect, and obedience. Help me to show my appreciation for all that they do for me. The fifth station, 
Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The soldiers were getting worried that Jesus would die before they reached the place where they were to kill him. They saw a man named Simon who was coming into town from the country. They grabbed him and forced him to help Jesus carry the cross. Simon did not want to help. He didn't even know Jesus. But Jesus turned his head and looked at Simon. Thank you, Simon, Jesus said. From that moment, Simon carries the cross willingly. Simon was a willing helper for Jesus. I want to be like Simon. Jesus has said that whatever we do for his people, we do for him. So I will willingly help anyone who needs me. That way, I will be helping Jesus. Is there Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. In the crowd was a holy woman named Veronica. She saw Jesus' face covered with blood and sweat. She felt sorry for Jesus. Jesus was not afraid of the soldiers. She took the scarf from her head and went and wiped Jesus' face with it. On the scarf, Jesus left not blood and sweat, but a beautiful picture of himself. Because of her courage and kindness, Jesus gave Veronica something in return. Isn't it wonderful how Jesus is always giving something to us? I pray that all of my life I can be like Veronica and have the courage to treat all people with kindness. Can the seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The sun is very hot. Jesus is tired, and he is hurting. There is a rock in the road. Jesus doesn't see it. He stumbles and falls. As he falls, the top of the cross hits his crown of thorns, pushing the thorns deeper into his head. Oh, how it hurts. Simon lifts the cross, and he helps Jesus to get up once again. Father in heaven, Please help me to get up and get started again whenever I fall. I know that because you love me, you will always put a Simon in my life. Give me the strength not to be too proud or too stubborn to accept my Simon. The eighth station, Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Standing on the street corner were some good women. They were crying for Jesus. Jesus said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not cry for me, but cry for yourselves and for your children. Jesus knew that the women had problems of their own, but instead of complaining, they were concerned about what was happening to him. Help me, O God, to be like these women and be aware of the problems of others. Then let me know how I can help them.
ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is so weak and exhausted that he simply cannot go another step. He falls down and he cannot get up. Now the soldiers are really worried that Jesus will die before they can kill him. So they decide to crucify him where he is. Father in heaven, Jesus fell not once, but three times on the road to his crucifixion. I too fall, but I fall by sinning. Please stay with me all of my life so that every time I fall into sin, you will be there to pick me up again by your sacramental grace of confession. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The soldiers made Jesus stand up. Then they tore all of his clothes off of him. They took his tunic and rolled dice to see which one of them would keep it. How sad to think that Jesus, our God, is standing before the crowd with no clothes on. He must feel so embarrassed. Please, God, help me to always dress in such a way that I and others will respect my body. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. After pulling off his clothes, the soldiers laid Jesus on the cross. Then they nailed him to it by hammering long nails through his hands and through his feet into the wood of the cross. Father in heaven, Jesus took the pain of the nails because he loves me. Please help me never to be like those soldiers. Help me never drive nails of pain into any people by what I say or do to them. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The soldiers stood the cross with Jesus on it in the ground for all to see. When Jesus said he was thirsty, they gave him vinegar to drink. After three hours, Jesus bowed his head and died. Jesus died so that my sins would be forgiven and heaven would be opened once again. Now I must do my part by the way I behave so that I can go to heaven. If I don't, then Jesus died for no purpose. Let me share. The 13th station, 
Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. After Jesus died, a disciple of his named Joseph, who came from Arimathea, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. He wanted to bury Jesus. Pilate said yes. So Joseph brought a linen cloth and wrapped Jesus' body, and at once he was taken down from the cross. Joseph of Arimathea was such a brave man. Most of Jesus' friends were hiding because they were afraid. But Joseph found the courage to go before Pilate and admit that he was Jesus' friends. Help me, I pray, that I too will not be afraid to stand up for Jesus. The fourteenth station, Jesus is put in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Joseph had the body of Jesus taken to his own new tomb. There, the friends of Jesus wrapped it in linen cloth with spices as was the Jewish way of preparing for burial. Then the body of Jesus was laid to rest. The men rolled a large stone at the entrance of the tomb to close it. Father in heaven, my Jesus is now dead and buried in his tomb. He knew that he would have to suffer and die. That is what he would have to do to save me from eternal death. And he did it for me. What can I now do for him? Fifteenth station, the resurrection of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Very early, before the sun came up on the first Easter morning, some holy women went to the tomb of Jesus to bring perfume and spices. They were wondering who they might get to roll the stone from the opening in the tomb so they could get in. The stone was very heavy. When they reached the tomb, they were surprised to see that the stone was already rolled away. They looked inside and Jesus was gone. But there was an angel in the tomb. He told the women, you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. See the place where he was buried. No, he is not here. He is alive. He has risen from the dead. O oh, good Jesus, thank you. Thank you for always keeping your promise. I know that because you rose from the dead, I too will rise from the dead. You have promised this and proven it by your resurrection. It is so. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. 